Welcome to this video where we will continue to create gear pump assembly in FreeCAD. So in this third part of video tutorial we will create um, the shaft for our assembly. Let's create the shaft 1 body in part design workbench and let's choose the plane let's create the toggle of our shaft so let's um, set the dimensions for shaft it will be it will be equal the hole for shaft of our gear Let's make the symmetry condition for these two points because we have. Uh, let's choose the point one, two, and the uh, axis line, and set the tool of symmetry condition. And you will get this condition here. Let's set the lens for this rectangle. If we will go to the task, you will see that we have the forces with constraints. Okay. Let's set this dimension for rectangle. And now we have to set. the height of this rectangle position okay let's set and make the trim operation let's delete this line and you will get the fully connected sketch here let's close the sketch and now we can show the our case here and gears Let's make the path operation, its extrusion for our sketch. Uh, we have the false because we have to choose the sketch. I think I choose the face of gear and let's set the lens of extrusion it have to some bigger than thickness of gear and let's make one else sketch on face of shaft and make the path operation here without uh, this rectangle on the shaft and let's set some dimension here I think let's set three millimeters make the refine true it will delete some artifacts from our faces and merge them and now uh, we have let's set one else sketch on this face of the shaft let's make the close and make the path operation again um, we have to connect one shaft with engine and it will be this shaft 
let's make the sum dimension let's go to the sketcher but I think the, we have to make the refine true we will delete some artifacts from here and let's delete sketch and choose the face to create again the sketch because we was got the false with creation of sketch mapping of sketch and face if, uh, the topology of the shape is changed okay let's set the also radius and make some trim here let's set the vertical position for this vertical for this horizontal line let's choose this point and this circle and make the constraint between the point and circle and you will get that your line connected with circle okay let's set the vertical position and make the trim operation See here after that let's make the symmetry operation for this line choose the line and axis and make the trim let's close the sketcher and make the part operation here also let's click ok and make the refined true operation and you will get the the first shaft for our model let's make the changing of position here to one millimeters let's show only our shaft looks correctly and after that let's show the another bodies you can make it using space bottom on keyboard let's show all on all bodies and another step will be creation the shaft uh, second shaft So let's create one else body in part design workbench and let's call it shaft 2. Let's make the active this body for working with this body. And create the sketch of the shaft. let's set the right position for the shaft here vertical position will be and set the radius okay let's close the sketch now let's make the part operation here and you will get your shaft and we can set the some bigger lens than gear thickness for our shaft because we have to connect the our shaft with the case and the cap of gear pump okay now let's see how it looks position for our second shaft 
in assembly and let's make the correction for position let's change in that direction minus two millimeters it will be just cylinder here we can see the connection between the case and shaft is correct but we have the different lengths of shaft so let's set the right lens to be similar like first shaft and second shaft so uh, we have finished to creation of our shafts here we have the first shaft and second okay and let's save it to files let's call it shaft 1 and click save activate another shaft make it active and let's go to the file save as shaft 2 file ok and click save so um, let's show all assembly of our gear pump so thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye